Then, Xpeng showed up, and suddenly, the line between human and machine got really blurry. When Xpeng first rolled out its humanoid robot, called Iron, the internet absolutely lost it. Not because it was clunky or creepy like most prototypes, but because it looked too perfect. Its balance, its stride, even the way it tilted its head, people swore there had to be a person inside. I mean, come on, China unveiling a robot that moves like a living person? The comments went wild. Fake. There's an actor in there. This is CGI. For weeks, that was the narrative, but Xpeng wasn't laughing. Behind the scenes, their engineers had spent years creating this thing. Every tendon, actuator, and artificial muscle, only to be told their work was a hoax. So instead of replying online, they decided to show the truth in the most dramatic way possible. At the next press event, they brought Iron back on stage. The crowd was silent, cameras everywhere. The robot walked out, smooth, balanced, with that same human grace that started the controversy. And then, right there under the spotlights, one of the engineers unzipped the synthetic suit. What they revealed was pure metal and circuitry. No actor, no costume, no trickery. Just a mechanical skeleton so advanced it could almost breathe. And then, something incredible happened. The presenter actually apologized to the robot. He said, I'm sorry we had to do this, but we had to prove you're real. You could feel the emotion in the room, because this wasn't just about a robot, it was about trust, identity, and the disbelief that something this good could come from a Chinese company. See, that's the deeper part of this story. If this exact same robot had a Tesla logo on it, or came from Boston Dynamics, people would have accepted it instantly. But Xpeng, the car company from Guangzhou? No way, it had to be fake, that bias hit hard. So Xpeng took it even further. They cut open part of Iron's leg on stage, while it was still powered on, to reveal the internal structure. Synthetic skin peeled back to show fiber-like muscle layers, joint actuators, and precision-engineered servo systems. It was a moment that turned shock into silence, and silence into respect. Now here's where it gets even more fascinating. 